for so long. I have waited for this day to come. I have seen it countless times in my dream. The day I get to kneel before you and ask you to be mine forever. Gina, I love you. Please, be my wife. Ah, why late? Did you forget that we have a meeting with the investors for the new film project? Oh, please hold on. That meeting. I was rehearsing my epic proposal with Gina that I totally forgot about the meeting. Are we still on this? You have been rehearsing for three years now. Isn't it time you perform what you have rehearsed? It's not as easy as you say it. It has to be perfect, the right timing. There has to be a dramatic entrance into her life. Is that the excuse your cowardly self tells you? Terry, you know that I know that you do not have the courage to ask Gina out. So why don't you keep your story about dramatic adventures for someone who doesn't know you? Did you just call me a coward? Did I? Was I being asleep at all? It better be. Don't forget I'm still the boss. Except you want to have food taken from your table and you out on the streets. Call me a coward again. And I'll tell you that I may not be brave in love-related issues, but I am in work-related issues to have you fired. I'm sorry, boss. I'm really sorry. I love my job. I don't want to lose it. The investors are still waiting for us. Lead the way, idiot. Get out of here. Baby, please, can you hurry up? I'm running late. Please. Babe, come out already. Please, I'm begging you. Well, what are you shouting? Did you run out of cab fare? Or you're trying to turn me to your cabbie? Why did you say that, babe? We're heading towards the same direction. Why do I have to waste cab fare? When you can just do a stop along the way. This is what I don't like about you. You take argument for breakfast and nagging for lunch. Hey. Was my response to you not clear enough? Oh, fine. Let me make it very clear to you. Gina, take a cab. To walk. Tony is not your driver. Is it clear now? Why are you doing this? Why do you always sound this way? What have I done to you to deserve such treatment from you? Do you need to ask the obvious? Your overbearing and dealing with you is highly exhausting. Listen, I do not have the time this morning. I am off to work. I'll see you later. I don't understand. You have to drop me off, babe. Hold on! Coward! You're such a coward. For three years, you have been following her around town. And watching her from a distance. Even when she said yes to the guy she is currently dating. Tell me! You have 
sit down with Golden Productions. How can you be late again? Not that the boss needs to explain himself to you, but I should as a friend. You know, seeing Gina first thing in the day brings out the best in me for the entire day. She's like my good luck charm. So, I drove past her place to see her. I am guessing you saw her from here, from a distance, am I right? What is this that I hear? Do I detect sarcasm? Sarcasm? What is that? Do I dare do that to the boss? Do I not fear losing my job? Boss, I am glad you saw Gina today. I believe it will put you in high spirit to close the deal. Yeah. No. You go ahead and close the deal. Seeing Gina today did not make me happy. She's sad, and that makes me sad. And you know how connected I am to her. And that tone is the reason for her sadness. I hope you will not interfere. What am I even saying? You cannot interfere because you are always watching from the same distance. There it is again. Pascal. A hint of sarcasm. Get out and close the deal. I'm in no mood to transact business today. Alright, boss. Alright, boss. <clears throat> Hey, 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 wait. What's the meaning of this and what is she doing here? Bella, honey, say good evening to Uncle Tony. He is my best friend. I thought being your best friend was my position. When did you replace me? Oh, how can I replace you? You see, you are my girl best friend and Uncle Tony is my guy best friend. Oh, I like that. I can now greet him. Good evening, Uncle. <laughs> Gina, you haven't answered my question. I said, what is she doing here? Tony, my sister called. She said she will be out for a week on some work-related issues. And she asked I stay with Bella for one week. Stay for a whole week? And you didn't say no? What is wrong with you? Gina, for Christ's sake, you do not live in this house alone. And you shouldn't make decisions without involving me. Listen to me. Tell this, you rat, to stay off my back while in this house. Look okay. Uncle Tony is mean. 
He's scaring her, don't like Oh, don't say things like that, Bella. Come on. I admit that your first impression of him was bad. But I assure you that if you get to know him and spend time with him, then you will know why your auntie Gina loves him. He's a wonderful man. You promise? Yes, I promise you. Let's just give him time to welcome your presence. Okay? You want to watch some movie with me? Okay, let me put a cut on. What is your favorite channel? Come here. Sit on your hands like that's my girl. Tell her that you have a few months to live and you wish that she could be your girlfriend for the rest of your dying days. She would agree. Oh yeah, you look good, honey. Come on, let's go. Baby, um, please, can you help me take Bella to school? I have an early morning appointment and I'm really running late, please. Please. Are you crazy or something? Are you out of your mind? Isn't it bad enough that I am uncomfortable in this house because of this girl? Now you're asking me to take her to school. Auntie, I cannot ride with him. I'm scared of him. He might do something bad to me. Hey, don't say that. Uncle Tony is not a bad man. Don't take his words to heart, okay? The little girl is mad enough to know when she's liked and when she's not supposed to ride with a total stranger. Tony. You know, I do not care if you miss your appointment or get fired. Don't bring this girl close to me again. Nonsense. Hey, come on, let me get another suggestion. So, I had to check up on Gina. I saw her taking a little child to school and I got walked up thinking that was her child. But after having a chat with her, I realized that uh, she was babysitting for her sister who is out of town. You don't, you don't know how relieved I am. <laughs> ah. So after three years, you have been able to speak with Gina in person? That calls for celebration, boss. It really does. How did you do it? Did you just walk up to her and ask? Is she your daughter? You must be stupid 
for a movie director, you, you your mindset is shallow. <laughs> you think I'll go up to her straight and scary and ask uh, for that kind of info? No. I pretended to be a parent and asked about the PTA meeting. And she said she was not a parent. That was how I got my info. Wow. Yes. Boss, I love how you get inspired and creative in matters relating to Gina. It is a relief that the little girl is not her daughter. But it's just a matter of time, considering she lives with her boyfriend and that something can happen in one cold, rainy... Shut up! Do you know how hard I'm trying to make her mine? Don't trivialize my love for Gina. Don't! Tell me, it has not got Don't! Fine. Fine. Calm down, man. Relax. All right. Yes. That, that's fine. Thank you very much. Hi. Um, I know you've been working. Hi. Hi. Um, I know you've been working and have probably forgotten about your stomach. I brought you something delicious. I have told you to stop showing up without calling. I'm just tolerating this disobedience because you are Pascal's cousin. Look, my patience has a limit. Now take that with you or I'll give it to your brother. I'm sure he's going to appreciate it. rejecting it without having a taste. I put in so much effort in preparing it. Just have a bite, please. Shanice! I know you have heard the saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And you are trying to explore that option. That's why you insist I have a bite. I believe you. It's a sweet, amazing, delicious meal. But it's only one woman that can feed me and that is Gina! 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 I know! The woman in your heart but not in your life. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Thank God you know. Then why don't you just stop making these moves? Shanice! Shanice, come and get this! Shanice! <sighs> But I hope you're enjoying the food. Yes, I am. Good girl. <laughs> Uncle Tony, when are you getting married to my auntie Gina? What? At 10, you worry about marriage? How do you involve yourself in adult related issues? You are untrained. And I should discipline you for this. How do you? At this age? Did your auntie put you up to this? Did she ask you to ask me? She walked out on me. Now, Tony, that is so rude and uncalled for. You shouldn't have spoken to her that way. Bella is just a child, and kids can be curious. Yeah. If you didn't want to answer her, it's fine. You would have just told her with love, or you would have told her to desist from adult matter. Not talking to her in that way, that is not nice. Yes, you're right. I shouldn't have spoken to her the way I did because she was only doing what you asked her to do. 
I should have scolded you instead. Enough! Now I have had it up to here. Fine, I want to get married to you. Fine, I want us to have kids in the future. But that does not make you the only man in the world. And you need to stop insulting me. If you're not ready to give me what I want, I will go get it elsewhere. Now you're telling me to my face that you want to go in search of another man. Are you waiting for? Go ahead. Go look for another man. Bella. Bella, dear. She shouldn't have let him go. You'd have handed him over to the police. My mind was just getting your phone back to you in one piece. Don't worry, he's going to run out of luck someday and he will end up in jail. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. How can I repay you? <laughs> Nothing. Your gratitude is enough. Uh, my mother taught me never to leave a woman who needs help. Your mother should be praised for raising a man like you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. Really, really, I am grateful. I, I swear. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. You're Where have you been? And why were you not picking up my calls? Tony, I was robbed today. If not for the timely intervention of a good Samaritan, I would have lost my phone. Big, fat, gigantic lies. What? You heard me. So you have run out of excuses that you now lie about theft. This is you, retaliating for the way I've been behaving lately, right? What are you talking about, Tony? I am telling you the truth. I was robbed today. The truth is, you are making do of your threat that you will find someone that will replace me, right? Let me ask you, Jenna. Are you that desperate? Are you that desperate to get married that you wouldn't mind getting married to a stranger? That's enough. Enough! I had a really stressful day. I'm going to rest.
Thank you. Thanks for real. I get to be the hero and she will never forget what I did for her today. <laughs> you didn't have to punch me so hard. I mean, you never said you're going to hit me like for real. As I talk to you now, all my mouth they pin me. As in, I am going to be giving you 20,000 naira for attempted robbery and you are complaining about taking a single punch. Besides, how is this supposed to look real if I don't hit you for stealing? It's fine. Pay me, let me go. If you want me to do something like this for you again, I can give you my number. Forget it. I don't need your services anymore. I can handle things from here. <laughs> I don't get it. Are you trying to tell me that you staged a robbery? Indebtedness. Women never forget a brave and chivalrous man that saved them. In fact, he becomes their knight in shiny armor. <laughs> Ever ready to rescue the damsel in distress. <laughs> yeah, you have a point there. You have a point there. So did your little drama bring you any closer to Gina? Aside the usual, thank you for saving me. <laughs> yes. She actually looked at me today and smiled and exchanged a one minute eyeball to eyeball convo with me. Are you kidding me right now, Ted? What? The least anyone could do is look their savior in the eye and tell them how brave they were for coming to their rescue. This is not progress in intimacy it's normal it's a normal thing so you're trying to tell me that you staged a robbery paid twenty thousand naira i still could not get her number you know i was really hoping that she would say give me your number or here is my number Call me whenever you like me to treat you to something nice as a way of saying thank you but she didn't. I know Tony is the reason. He's in my way and I don't like it. I have to do something about it. I have to do something about it. <sighs> whatever you have to say or whatever you wanted to say could have been said over the phone or do you want to look into my eyes when you confess your long suppressed feelings for me you know hmm? <laughs> no <laughs> okay. what I'm about to say is very sensitive and I do not want to leave any evidence of this conversation anywhere. That is what I want. Oh. Really? Wait, are you doing this for general world peace or personal gratification? Because I don't get. You are a woman. You should even find me more cool that I am attentive to women's plights and their silent plea for rescue. Well, as much as I find what you're about to do chivalrous, I'm not really helping you. For real, you know? I need something in return. <laughs> okay, go on. What do you want? What do I want? Let's see. Um, pink. What do I really want? Okay. 
I need I need a sub lead role in your next movie project. And that's not all. Mm -hmm. I also need a romantic dinner date with you. <laughs> I accept. You're down for it? Yes, I accept. I will send you the details because you have to do it as soon as possible so that you can mark him and entrap him mm. just the way we've planned. Okay. One movie project with you and a dinner date, a romantic dinner date. Right, consider it done then. Tony has gone from being angry to being suspicious. Because I told him that if he doesn't do what I want, I would get it elsewhere. Now he's mistaking coincidental missed calls from him as me taking out my threats. Tony is just being insecure. And if he's insecure, that means he loves you. Tony loves you, Gina. Celine? Yeah? Celine? I am getting images from an unknown number. Do I open it? Yeah, open it. Go on. What is it? Are you okay? How can I be? Gina, we have to calm down. For all we know, this could be Photoshop or someone intentionally trying to ruin your relationship. You need to hear from Tony first. Of course I will. What is wrong? Do you have something you want to say? Something that you have done and you are not proud of? <laughs> uh, um, what are you? Found my replacement. Now looking for ways to tell me it's over. Hey. This is the game cheaters play. They accuse you of something that they have done and what you explain yourself. You are cheats, Tony. And here you are talking about me finding your replacement. Who is this? And how long have you been secretly seeing her? It's a set. It's a setup. That's that's a trap. But it's not what you think. I'm serious. I... Is this you or not? Or do you have a twin brother that I am not aware of? Uh, this is me, babe. Do you understand? But the girl was just a fling. Listen, she came onto me, seduced me, even drugged me. I wasn't with my senses when I... 
I was not with my senses when I did this. I swear I didn't know her. Would probably not recognize this girl if I ever see her again. Just believe me, okay? You were a blood liar. She seduced you and drugged you? And you have to wait until you've been caught before you confess? Come on, baby, it's embarrassing. You do not expect me to boldly and shamelessly tell you I was raped and drugged by a total stranger? It doesn't speak well of me. It doesn't make me a man. It makes me less of a man. Don't you get it? Listen, Gina. Okay, uh, this is set up, like I said. All right, someone is trying to mess up with us and do not let them win, okay? You are the one messing with us, though. And this, I cannot take. I am done. Let me see your hand. Now go inside, pack your things, and leave my house. Jessica. Now. Hey, listen, I, I was raped, don't you get it? I, I, I was dropped and raped. The, the girl dropped me, and I am serious. Hmm. Boss, seriously, I am flat broke right now. I cannot afford to flex. Nobody's asking your broke ass to pay. Besides, today I'm your best friend, not your boss. And uh, drink to your heart's content. I am in a celebratory mood. <laughs> so, what is the good news? Mm. I am in the last phase of the plan. After three years, there is a strong possibility that Gina will become mine. You see, Tony is out of the picture. And soon, she will need a new guy in her life. I am that man. <laughs> wow. Wow. So Tony is out of the picture. Yes. I, they seemed pretty solid together. What did he do that they couldn't fix? That bastard cheated. And somehow Gina found out about it and broke the relationship. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. You seem pretty updated about everything. Why do I have a feeling that you are behind their split? <laughs> Cheers, Pascal. Cheers. Cheers.
Once again, I am really sorry. You saved me the other day from a robber and this is how I paid you back. I ran over you with my car. I am so sorry. Gina, you were drunk. It wasn't intentional. It was an accident. I understand. I spoke with the doctor. He said you had just minor injuries and you'll be fine. <laughs> so please, if there's any way I can help you or maybe help you call your wife or a close relative, please do let me know. <laughs> I'm not married. Oh. No girlfriend either. And my closest relative lives very far. Unfortunately, I'm alone. Okay, so in respect of you accepting my apology and not pressing charges against me, <laughs> can I can I please make you dinner at your convenience? Wow, wow, that's quite thoughtful of you. A sumptuous meal prepared by you. I I look forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gina. Yeah, sure. I should be saying thank you. <laughs> Um, number? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay, let me put in my... Please do call me. My phone is in the car. Okay? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yes. It's been three years of loving you from a distance. I'm your secret admirer. Why did you not tell me? I mean, why did you not approach me all these years? Because you have someone in your life. And I did not want to interfere. Certainly your boyfriend will be uncomfortable with you checking up on me. No man wants to share the attention of his woman. He's lost. He's lost. I will never cheat on a queen like you. You are the total package. He is blind. No man in his right thinking sense will cheat on a woman like you. Thank you, Terry. 
that makes me feel that better. Can you go out on a date with me? I mean, so that we can know ourselves better. Oh, you're a nice guy. And I would love to know you better. Can I sleep over your request? You know, I just came out from something hurtful. And I need to be sure that I am ready to risk my heart again. Can I give you a response later? I waited three years to ask you this. I think waiting one more night for your answer will not kill me. Hmm? Are you okay now? Because you told me you were involved in an accident. Mm. Gina's magical meals and hands healed me. I am perfectly fine now, you bastard. <laughs> you ran into her car in motion. Mm. So the epic and dramatic entrance into her life was for you to risk being killed? Are you sick, Terry? How crazy can you be? I will forgive your tone because I am in a very good mood. After three years, finally I get to be with you. Dreams. <clears throat> you calling me crazy, Pascal, will not take it away from me. She called to say yes to our very first date. <laughs> Your friend is no longer a single man, I can assure you. I am now dating. Terry is now dating. Terry is now dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Wait a sec. Did you see your pictures were displayed all over his wall? Like not one or two? Like different pictures of you on different poses. Why do I find that to be creepy? Because you, Celine, don't know what it means for someone to be in love with you for three years from a distance without <laughs> having the courage to approach you because they do not want to disrupt your life flow. You call it creepy, but I find it helplessly romantic. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, someone is knocking it. Let me get it up. Okay. <sighs> For me? Yeah. What do I have here? What do you have there? Hmm. <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Food? Another one? A gift? For real? Oh, wow. A nice meal to start the day. Make sure you eat before going to work. Remember not to skip any meal with love. Terry! This guy is beginning to sound like the guy in your secret prayers. <laughs> this is so cute and you can say that again. <laughs> Were you calling him creepy? Because all I see is a romantic guy who loves and treats me with care and tenderness. I have a good feeling about this guy. I really do. <laughs> yeah, but I still don't like the idea that he has been stalking you for three years. No, no, he wasn't stalking me. He has been loving me from a distance. There's a difference. Come on. <laughs> okay, fine. So, which one do you want? This? I really do want to eat now. 
Okay. Do you want to have my meal well, with me? I want to, please. This looks so good. What are you doing here? Don't you miss me? Even the slightest? No, I didn't. And I want you to leave and never come back. Listen. I have the woman of my dreams now. I have the woman in my heart. I have her in my life now. I am seeing someone. This is not a fling. It is serious. So I suggest you find someone else to love and torment. Shanice, you and I can never happen. So just leave. Leave now. You. You are cruel. <laughs> you is this how you pay my love for you? Is this how you repay my love for you? Huh? How could you be so heartless? <laughs> Rejecting me with no feelings. Terry, I want you to know that no woman, and I repeat, no woman will love you like I do. Get out! Terry! Out! Terry! Out! Out! Tony, what are you doing here? You and I have nothing to say to each other. And you know that part where two people break up and still intend to be friends? That can never happen between us. Leave my car. Darling. I have done some things in the past that somehow you found a way to forgive me in the past. Why is this one so different? Because this mess is too messy and cannot be cleaned. You cheated on me. You broke the love and trust we had for each other. Even if I want you back in my life, I would not trust you again. And it's already too late. I'm sorry. Too late? Yes. You found someone already? Mm. Were you seeing this man while we were together and was only waiting for me to make a mistake so you could kick me to the car? I do not owe you an explanation. Unlike you, I understood what it meant to be faithful in my relationship. Listen, we're done having this conversation because I would not like to explain why my ex is still locking in the shadow when we are over. Excuse me. Party after office hours. Can I crash? <laughs> Party only for two. <laughs> I am so happy. Sometimes I feel like it's a dream, but no, I am awake and it is really happening. I am going on my very first date with Gina tonight. And I will tell her in detail how. I have loved her and all the things I have come to know about her in the past years, loving her from a distance. <sighs> I'm so happy for you. Man. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> While you tell her so much, can you refrain from saying much? Like elaborating on how she takes her ice cream and how her eyes glitters. That 
sort of detail might freak her out. She might not find it fascinating, but creepy, you know. Are you calling me a creep? Are they crazy? Why, why would I call the boss that? I don't like my job. <laughs> yeah. This life no balance, man. This life no balance at all. There is Shanice crying her eyes out. And here you are, celebrating your newfound love with Gina. You know what's going on with Shanice? I cannot be blamed for that, right? She had always hoped that I would come around, but I never stopped to tell her that will never happen. I'm so sorry to know that she's going through that. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's celebration time! Yeah! <laughs> celebration time, man. Yes, I I'm need so to get ready. Time. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> you good? Mm. Yeah, Hi. I'm good. So tell me, how do I look? Mm. I hope I'm not looking like I want to impress. No, you're not looking like you want to impress. But at the same time, you look like you actually want to impress. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're looking good. I... You sure? Yeah. Okay, now let's be honest. Yeah. How do I look? You look chic, classic, gorgeous, you name it. You look oh, stunning. Thank you. And at the same time, girl, you are dressed to impress, but not intended to impress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I yeah, baby. So, if he asks you if you're going to be his girlfriend, what are you going to say? To be honest with you, I already mm -hmm. said yes the moment I mm. agreed to go on a date with him. Yes. Let's just say he wants to make it official. And if he asks me to be his girlfriend, I will just officially say yes. And that's it. My dear, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. You Thank finally you, passed the heartbreak that Tony dished for you. Oh god, I hope this one goes well so we can finally sing the wedding bells. <laughs> yes. I know right, see, come. I, uh, to be honest, I really like him. Mm -hmm. I feel like with him nothing can go wrong. I am where I need to be. Just wish me luck. It's going to work, baby girl. Now <laughs> let's go. Good luck. All right. Sure, you have let's it go. already. Gina, I have loved you for three years now. I have known you from afar. The way your eyes brighten when you smile and your lips curve when you're angry. I have studied what makes you tick and I want to be the man who will love you the way you deserve to be loved. Give me a chance to worship at your temple and let me live loving you like my life depends on it. Please, Gina, will you be my girlfriend? You say, Terry, I have been hurt, taken for granted, cheated on. I have been in a terrible relationship. So if you are going to make me forget about my pains in the past, 
feel my life with happiness again? Then it's a yes. Yes. say anything to offend you. Tony has been visiting her and trying to woo her back. But she has agreed to be yours. Don't bother about to me. Gina is a good woman and will not to time. She will reject him. I need to find a way to make sure Tony moves on. I have worked too hard to have him hovering around my girl. You should boss. But this file right here require your urgent attention. The investors will need a response about the stars you intend to use in this field. And here are some of their profiles and worth, plus an analysis of roles they have played with brilliance in their previous jobs. I need to take care of Tony. Tony can wait, but the investors cannot. As I speak to you right now, they are on their way to the office. So please, God, can you take care of this now? Please. Oh yes, I was. They weren't convinced of the stars I picked at first until I assured them that you had personally handpicked the cast before your emergency came up. So what excuse did you give them? Does that matter? Uh, they believed and sympathized with you. It worked and everyone is happy. That is all that matters, right? What did you tell them? <clears throat> Ask her. Well, I told them that you woke up this morning with an erection that refused to subside. What? Yes, you wore several briefs and shorts to suppress the bulge, but it kept bulging and bulging. So you had to go see a doctor to fix you. <laughs> so, is this a punishment for me leaving you to do my job? You have to talk about my baby, my healthy baby. I'm going to kill you something, Pascal. <laughs> so, were you able to deal with uh, Tony? I think it would take more than words to scare you. Should I chase him out of town? Break his leg? 
or his head. What would it take for him to stay clear of Gina? None of the above, Terry. Your suggestions are too extreme. It hasn't gotten to that boss. Girl, you are glowing. <laughs> wow, I need details. The dating and the uncensored ones. Oh, look at you, not a girl. You won't do this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, Terry is so sweet. Guess what? He made me dinner mm. and fed it to me. As if that was not enough, he also made me breakfast in bed. Wow. Yes, girl. I mean, t yes, girl. Terry is the man of my dream, I swear. The man I've always wanted. You can't even imagine this. Wow. Yes. You know, this guy is a game changer. Compared right. to that Tony of a guy. You've actually gotten all you've always wanted. All I have wanted indeed. You need to see the chemistry. Everything was like... He took me out of this world. I can't even explain. I, I can't give you the taste, but it's so sweet. That's all. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I know. And he's calling. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What are you doing? Um, just having a conversation with my friend Celine. You know, girls, gist. <laughs> Can I call you back later, please, when I'm done? Babe, I can't concentrate without hearing your voice or your heartbeat close to my ears. I can't function properly without knowing that you are close by. So don't worry, go on. Uh, continue with the gist, but keep me on. I'll be here with you. Are you shutting me out? Babe, are you shutting me out? Is there something you girls want to talk about that you do not want me to know? Gina, Gina, you are, you are acting suspicious. What is bad if I stay online while you chat with your friend? Yes! And so, everything is set to commence this new project. 
I have spoken to a reputable flight company and they have agreed to sponsor transportation and logistics of any kind. Everything is looking good right now and I can confidently say that we are set to make something big. <laughs> What's that? Oh are you listening to a comic piece? I just heard the laughter of a woman coming from the phone. Babe, I'll call you later. Oh, it's Gina. I keep her online 24 7. Uh, that way, I have the assurance that she's with me. And it also keeps her in check with the people she meets and what she says. And do you think depriving your partner of the right to make a call or speak is all right? It is wrong in every level of sound human thinking, Terry. You are gradually choking her and she will begin to suffocate and demand a breathing space. Gina loves me and I love Gina. And she understands that I will not be myself if I haven't seen her or heard her voice. <laughs> uh, you may consider it choking, but she likes when my attention revolves around her. That way she has the assurance that I am hers and hers alone, no one else. <sighs> Please, uh, keep your concerns to yourself. We are happy the way we are. <laughs> What are you doing here? Gina. I... I agree we broke up and you're moving on. It's not my fault. I need you to know the man you're moving on with. Gina, you're dating your stalker. It's dangerous. What is dangerous is a man who cheated and has refused to leave. Instead, he is here to spoil the image of another man. Tony, I have seen that you have changed the pattern. You're not here to tell me how we are meant to be together. Instead, you're trying to sow a negative seed about my boyfriend. Trying to make me ruin the love I have for him. How pathetic. Please leave. Please leave. You heard the lady. Oh. Leave. Now. Hey, see. Good Wow. He's everywhere like ghosts. Watching you like a monitor spirit. Tony, he Gina, is... Gina, this isn't love. This man does not love you. Believe me, you'll find out someday. Tony, he is here to take me to work. That's something you barely did. He said I was taking you to be my chauffeur. Unlike you, he comes to take me to work every morning without complaints. You know what? Keep your dangerous decisions to yourself. Leave. <laughs> it's fine.
What a delight! Oh, but we were supposed to have lunch together today. You couldn't wait till then before you see me. Ah, no, don't worry. I, I have those feelings, but I control them. Actually, what I want to ask you could not wait till lunch time. I couldn't sleep last night, Terry. Even when I did, my dreams terrified me. What? Did you... Did you beat up Tony? What? Where is this coming from? You rejected him and you made sure he stayed rejected. Babe, why do I need to beat him up? You didn't? He said you asked him never to appear in front of me again. And you threatened to kill him if he does. I have dead dead Tony for three years now and this is actually the first time he's sounding so scared. Babe, your ex is a damn good actor. I give it to him. Tony came to me threatening that he still loves you and wants you back. In his words, he says, I will break up your relationship and have my girl back. This must be what he did. Getting himself beaten and laying the blame on me. Then you will regard me as a monster. And take him back in sympathy. Oh, babe. But he failed. He failed. Because you know... I am a tender, gentle, loving and compassionate man. I will never do something so heartless. No. Yeah. Sure you wouldn't. <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you, babe. I love you too. <laughs> I believe he left town already. He seemed to be too much in a haste, like someone was chasing him out of this town. I find it hard to believe this. But I have known Tony for a long time. Leaving town? Getting away from his job is a decision he will not take overnight. Something really happened, Selene. But what I cannot tell is if it's because of Terry or Tony is just using Terry as an excuse. I believe him, Gina. What does he gain by leaving town and blaming it on Terry? Tony last night and you You know you're my queen, my beautiful queen. Hey. Just there. Did you um did you send Celine a threatening message? Asking her to stay away from our issues? What? What did Celine do to me that I would threaten her? I think this is Tony's plot.
Yes. He's doing this to make you and those that matter to you hate me. And I didn't want to say anything before. But I know we promised to be sincere and honest to each other. But I'm afraid that this might ruin your friendship. And I don't want to be responsible for that. Babe, what are you talking about? You have to tell me, what is it? Did you in any way discuss intimate activities we shared with Celine? Yes. Yes, I did. She's my best friend. And we talk about everything, including the men in our lives. Why did you ask? No wonder she came on to me saying she heard that I was big and she couldn't stop thinking what it would be like to have me for one night. I told her I will pretend I did not hear her. You mean... Celine, my best friend, seduced you? After knowing how important you are to me? I will have to hear her deny it. Exactly! She's going to deny it. Babe. You know I can't lie to you. I know how close both of you are. Why will I try to come between your friendship? My love. We spend every day and time together. I think it's time you move in with me. That way, I can go to bed and wake up with you beside me, knowing that you're okay. Before we finalize our plans with your family, What do you think? Gina! Gina, for real? You're not just going to listen to me? Gina, you don't believe me? You believe the lie the stranger told you over my truth? He is not a stranger, Celine. He is my boyfriend and the man I am there to spend the rest of my life with. Gina, can't you see? He's just, can't you see? The, the truth is before you, why can't you see it? He just wants you all to himself. And living with him is a bad idea if you ask me. Like he's isolating you from others, from me. And that is my decision to make. I am a grown woman and I do not need you to tell me what to do, okay? And I don't even believe you, Celine. I told you about my love affair and you dare make advances at him? Come on! Disgusting! Come on, Gina! I didn't make advances at him! Why do you believe that lie? Get lost, Celine! Get lost! Oh, fine. But when the fire comes burning, don't expect me to jump in with you. Thank you. 
you see my phone? I have been searching everywhere. Oh, yes. I actually held on to it. But the thing is, I I placed your SIM card in, in my phone. So from now on, we will use one phone to receive and make our calls. As romantic as this sounds, it is not convenient. If we are not always together, we have separate work locations. And how can we receive calls when they come simultaneously? Oh, your calls are same as mine. I can answer for both of us. Especially that evil Tommy. Knowing that we interact as one will keep him off your back. Babe, trust me. We can do this. I don't like this. In a matter of time, you find that this is important. They do keep you up. of my privacy. Even married couple have and respect boundaries. You can't be asking me for my personal and professional confidentialities. What is it you're hiding? What is it? Oh, after merging phones, you communicate with him on Instagram and Facebook, right? R right? You are cheating on me and I will not let you cheat on me. I will not allow you to cheat on me. If you do not give me access, I will be forced to hack your account. This isn't right in all level of rational thinking. Why are you doing all this? All I have done is to love you. I chose you. And I have never given you any reason to doubt me. I love you too. And if you love me, you will have no reason to deny me access. Is anyone out there? Can anybody save me from this? Silly. Hey, Gina. Hey, Silly, you're right. Listen, this is the only means we can communicate right now. This is the phone I use because Terry has my phones. He has the password to all my social accounts. I, I, I cannot even have a private conversation anymore. You were right. Terry is a madman. His love for me is dangerous. I am so scared. I don't know how. I don't know what to do. And the thing is, I cannot even leave him now because if I leave him, it will bring out the beast in him. I am so scared. I tell you, I am so scared. Oh, calm down. I'm glad you realized before it's too late. Terry is obsessed. He could kill you if you ever try to leave him. He sure is. We need to be smart and come up with a getaway plan. God. Before a life is lost. God, 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 what's happening to me? What By the way, I've missed you. I miss you too from here. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. It's okay. I'm really scared. I know. Thank you. All I ever wanted 
It's for someone to love me right. All I ever prayed for is for someone to treat me right. I thought I found the one, but I guess I was wrong. Now I'm choking, sinking. Can anybody save me from this nightmare? Is anyone out there? Can anybody save me from this nightmare? Is anyone out there? Can anybody save me from this nightmare? Save Can anybody say Oh my princess my joy my happiness oh my darling baby baby Terry did you jam the door or something I couldn't go to work <sighs> Yes, I locked it. I deliberately locked you inside. You did? Why would you do that? Tell me what sin are you punishing me for? The sin of being so beautiful that every man wish they can have you. My love, I cannot be losing my mind thinking about guys approaching you and complimenting you and then you smile at them like you enjoy their flirtatious attitude yes i locked you in so that i alone can see own and appreciate this beauty you are sick do you want to end my life because I am dating you? Or do you consider me a puppy that you can lock and go out with the kill at will? You are crazy! And I am going to get away from your craziness! <clears throat> Tony is right. You are capable of something worse. My love, my love, my love, please, 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 don't, don't, don't throw away everything, everything that we built, don't, don't throw us away, you are my joy, you, you are my world, my life begins and ends with you, you are the only well I draw water from, your love, your love, your love, your love, your love quenches my test, Gina. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Yesterday, the door was locked. I didn't call you because I thought it was jammed. But today, Terry has done the same thing to me. He has done the same thing. He locked me inside and left for work. He said he does not want any man looking at me. My friend, I am so scared. I am so scared. I don't know what to do. Please, please come and help me. This guy can kill me someday. I beg you, come. Come, 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 come to the compound. But by, by, by the balcony, there's a um, green carpet. I hear the specky there. Please, please come now. I beg you, come. No, oh, no, no. This is not happening. This is not happening.
always I need help. <laughs> Celine, I have to put an end to this, else it will continue. <laughs> Terry has locked and chained me up like an animal. How did I get myself into this mess? Oh. <laughs> So the side. You have no right to touch my friend anymore! She's dead! All thanks to you! She asked me of one thing and then I single-handedly take her body and bury it as a place where she found peace and happiness as a child! This is not your fault, Terry. She killed herself. You cannot be blamed for her decision to end it. It is my fault. 
I drove her to death. I chained her. I locked her in the house. I mean, who, who does such animalistic things? You took it to the extreme, Terry. And there will be consequences. But you have to forgive yourself and move on. How do I go on living when I know she's dead? I need to find her. I need to find her, make it up to her by loving her the way she deserves. You talk as if she's in Sokoto. Terry. How can you find her when she's dead? She's dead, man. She's dead. You need to 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 wake up to this reality.
Good night. 